Good morning, this is Bill Freeman with Freeman's Construction. We're here waiting for an inspection on a septic system that we've just added on to and repaired. Uh, there was an existing system in here when we started this new house and we just had to add on to it. There's the new sewer line coming in and as you can see uh, we had to repair the tank because it was broken and had an old clay pipe inside which is what was in the old tanks. And here's actually the piece that we took out of there. They always break off and then you don't get the right flow into the tank and things can get plugged up. As you can see there are two compartment tank and you can see the new line we put in and then there's a new cap on top of that T. A lot of times we will get a call from somebody saying that they smell sewer around their house and if they're on a septic system what's happened is that cap has either come off or it never got put on and it allows the smell to go back up through the pipes out the top of the house and then depending on the airflow around the house it will fall down along outside and they maybe happen to have a barbecue that day and doesn't smell real good so anyway it's a two compartment tank then it moves from this side the solids stay in there then comes over to this side and we've also put a new outlet here the affluent goes into this side and then flows out into the leach lines you can see the repair that we did there and then you can see all the roots that we pulled out of this tank because of those holes uh, it allowed the roots to get in and plug things up so then we did a repair down here or not a repair but we added on to the lines and we used what's called an infiltrator system in the place of the traditional rock and perforated pipe you can see where we tied on to the end of the existing and there's the rock and the and the four inch perforated pipe and we have these new type infiltrators that we use that are a dome shape that go in the bottom of the trench so they give you much more area that allows the water to go out we had to add another hundred feet to give it the correct capacity for this particular house which is based upon the bedroom count in the house and then you can see how we make the transition here down to another lower line once this line fills up then it will fill up into this line spill down over and you have a dam here so the water won't cross over spills through that pipe and then ties into the next level which is approximately a foot to two foot lower and that can vary depending on the grade of the terrain that you're working on and then you can see the new line here so I jump over the ditch that's run so this gets us up to the footage that we need to properly service the house so anyway there's your education for today on septic systems hopefully you don't have to do this at your own house but uh, this is the way we do it and a much uh, better way to go rather than use the rock and the four inch pipe have a great day